Welcome to one of the most, I guess, anticipated videos on my channel. People would know this would happen at some point with, I guess, some of the stuff that's going on with, uh, with, with Man City and, and whatever. So, uh, first of all, to everybody, uh, welcome back to my channel. And uh, today we're going to be talking about my team, Man City, yesterday's result, other results, and maybe just a bit about football in general. Um, I don't really have a plan for this video, but um, we're gonna be we're gonna be just I guess you know I'm I'm just gonna try and get all my thoughts out uh, out of my head and 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 how I feel about um, you know the Premier League and, and and football in general. So let's start with three principles quickly. I hate Wolves. I hate Liverpool, and I hate Man United. Cunts. Uh, I would say that because of uh, that loss to Man United, more than yesterday, we've lost the league now to Liverpool. There's no catching them. For, for, first of all, actually, before I start saying anything about Man City, fair play Liverpool. I have to say fair play because I haven't... I've watched the Premier League maybe now for five years. I'm 15. I started maybe watching the the um, the, the Premier League as a, as as like a spectator sport properly maybe about four and a half years ago I would say in the 15-16 season um which was actually a pretty good place to start that was when Leicester won the league for anybody who didn't remember um and um yeah f fair play to Le I haven't seen any team like them who just keep winning and keep winning and keep winning and come back within the 89th minute to win the game and come back in the 91st minute to win the game and I you know I haven't seen a team with their mentality like Liverpool. It's crazy. And I, I have to give a round of applause to, to, to Liverpool for being a mentally strong team as well as a physically strong team. They have a lot of good players. Their attack is very dangerous, etc. But I think that Liverpool's mentality is so much better than a lot of basically any team in the prim almost any team in the world. Right now, I would argue. Um, and that's why I want Atletico to knock them out of the Champions League, please. Anyway, um, let's get to the topic at hand because I know a lot of people want me to talk about Man City. Um, oh, fuck. I'm going to get kicked for idling. Um, but, um, yeah, so let's, let's get my first thoughts out. I think that this season is done for us. We can't think of anything but top four. Uh, I think that if we don't get top four this season, then that's kind of ridiculous. Um, I, th I think we'll get top four. Um, but I think that in some of our games, we, we haven't had... I go a lot back to mentality. Even, even when I talk with my friends about football and uh, how, you know... Uh, about football in general, I mention a lot about mentality because I think a lot of people don't mention about mentality when you're talking about football. There, to me, is two parts of a footballer. There's the ability and the technical skill, which for some players is brilliant in our team, just like Kevin De Bruyne, who I think is arguably the best player in the Prem. Yes, they didn't show it, um, but I'll get to that. Um, and then there's the mentality side, uh, which has ruined some players in the... <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, has ruined some players in the past, like uh, Ben Arfa, I would argue, Balotelli, uh, you know, but that's a bit of a different topic. <clears throat> um, and yeah, so I, I just don't think that this season, I would say ever since that Norwich game, all, almost ever since that Spurs game, if you guys can remember in August when we drew 2-2 and we had a, a shit ton of shots and shit ton of chances and which doesn't take any of them. Last season, we'd be winning that game 7-2. I'm telling you right now. Because last season, we were clinical. Last season, we were putting good balls into the box. Not useless balls like I've seen in a couple of the games. Especially against Man United, if you watch. Uh, I think it was Angelino and Walker were putting useless crosses into the box. Uh, I came from a David Silva corner, our goal. Um, and... Uh, you know, I think that our end product last season was so much better than it is this season. Um, it's, I don't know. There's, there's a lot of small problems that, excuse me, uh, aren't making us keep up with Liverpool. 
There's uh, our defense, which I'll get into a little bit. That deserves its own section. Um, and then there's our offense. We are we have incredible attacking players. We have some of the best in the land. Aguero, one of the most clinical strikers. Bernardo Silva hasn't shown this season, but can be an incredible technical dribbler. Uh, we have uh, Kevin De Bruyne, arguably the best midfielder in the Prem, if not one of the best players in the Prem. Mares has shown his talents this season. Uh, Sterling, not to mention, he's incredible. Uh, it's like we have so much potential, but I don't think at the start of the season anybody expected Liverpool to go on this run. Some people were even tipping Liverpool to drop out of top four because they didn't make any signings. Uh, I wasn't one of the... I didn't make Premier League predictions. Tell me next season if you want me to make Premier League predictions. Uh, or even predictions for the Champions League round 16, etc. But anyway. Um, but yeah, I think that um, our problems are mainly in defense. Um, I think that our offense has played well, especially in the last games before Wolves, um, which I'll get to as well. Um, I thought that our offense has played pretty well. Uh, we've done all right. You know, Jesus has stepped up with goals in crucial areas. And it's like, you know, our offense is, is good. It's not the level as last season, but it's good. It's like doable. You know, we can we can work with our offense. I don't think our offense is our problem. Uh, you know, we, we play good, good passes and stuff. De Bruyne is playing really well right now. Uh, we just really got to focus on that game tomorrow. Can't believe I'm saying tomorrow uh, against Sheffield United at home, which another good team. Uh, not really as much as the top six killer as Wolves, but could still have potential. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see about that. But anyway, um, yeah, that's a little bit about the offense. Now let's get into the main part, which is the defense and then the Wolves game. Our defense is shit. It's... It, it, it's not about the quality of player. I think that a lot of people, uh, some people even look at FIFA and say, oh yeah, you have an 87 rated CDM at center back. Why isn't he, you know, intercepting every damn ball? No, he isn't going to intercept every damn ball. He's 34, okay? He doesn't have the legs anymore. I'm talking about Fernandinho, by the way. Um, Otamendi is a joke of a man. He can play sometimes like he's the be one of the best center backs in the damn league, or then he can play like he's fucking Mustafi. He's so inconsistent, and I don't know, it's it's a little bit like, I mean, to me, he looks like a gang member, so that's why I'm saying this, but to me, it looks like you have a gang member on your side, you know, he does rough tackles, he does this and that. I thought against Wolves, he was alright, actually, yesterday, I thought he played well, I thought he was one of our one of our good performers, along with Sterling and De Bruyne, I thought that was an unfortunate substitution, um, but, um, yeah, our, our defense is our main problem. Why did we not invest? We're getting, we're getting, um, we're getting uh, penalized for not investing. And it, it sounds incredible that Man City, with the riches that they have from, from all the investment groups and Sheikh Mansour and this and that scouting team, we're talking about investment being the problem. And that sounds ridiculous to me because investment should be one of our main focuses. If we want to be a juggernaut in the Premier League, but also European football, we are a juggernaut in the Premier League. Just not this season, maybe. Um, uh, but especially in the European game. If we want to be a juggernaut, we need to invest in a lot of players. And this January transfer window is massive. We need defenders. Um, Mendy is all right. Yesterday, he made a bad mistake. I'll get into that. Um... Uh, but we desperately need a center back. We can't rely on Laporte the whole season. We saw when we had Laporte in the side, uh, you know, I think we lost maybe four games the whole season last season, and we've already lost five, I think, and it's December. Uh, granted, it's almost the new year, but still, it, it is December. Um, so, uh, like, and, and, and the amount of times we get hit on the counter, um... If you watch the game against Leicester, okay, yes, we did win. But Vardy, um, Vardy, they played one over-the-top through ball between Otamendi and Fernandinho, Vardy was throwing a goal. Uh, yesterday, with the Ederson red card, there was one over-the-top through ball by Ruben Neves, and Jota was throwing a goal. And again, through both, through, I think this time, Walker and 
Fernandinho. And Walker is very fast. I've I've watched every single City game in the Prem except for the one against Brighton in August because it wasn't available on TV. Um, it's like I I don't know. Our our, our defense is is too slow. It's too slow for these counter-attacking Premier League teams. Um, now, Sheffield United, I don't think they have any pace whores, really, but they are a good team on the break with their passing. Uh, they're very passing side, very good side, very organized side. So I'll have to see how we do against them, but that's a different thing. Um, I think that our our defense is... is um, has a lot of experience, but not a lot of pace. And you need pace in this game. You, you need pace in today's game. I mean, l- look at some of the best forwards in the Prem. Aubameyang, banging in goals really fast. Jamie Vardy, top goal scorer of the Prem at 32. His main aspect, guess what it is? Pace. Okay, granted, he's a very good finisher, but he's always been about pace. Ever since day one when he came into the Prem. Um... Uh, who else is up there? Okay, Tammy Abraham is a little bit more of a uh, of a physical player. Uh, Aguero is relatively fast. Mane, Salah, all have pace, and our defense isn't keeping up with those players because uh, because of pace. And it, it's not to say that they don't have good defensive abilities. I think the Fernandinho and Otamendi and Stones are very defensively able players. They just don't have the pace. And that's bad because when they play one over-the-top through ball, let's say we're playing against Arsenal. Okay, granted, they're shit this season. Like, they're actually shit. Um, but let's let's say you would have Granite Xhaka playing an over-the-top through ball. He's very good at long passing. I plays one over-the-top through ball to Aubameyang between our two center backs. And, and they just beat through on goal. It's, it's crazy because... Um, it's, it's just they don't have the pace anymore. And that's why we really need to invest. Um, and and our fullback situation is a bit shit. Right back will completely fine. I don't know why we're playing and why we're not playing Cancelo more. Okay, Walker's a good player. But I think we should be playing Cancelo a little bit more. Giving him a little bit more game time. Especially in the Prem. Um, and um, I think left back needs to be sorted. I think... Mendy, not good enough. Angelino might be good in the future. I think he's only 22. <sighs> but yeah, that's that's a little bit about our defense. And I, I'm trying not to be mad in this section. I'm trying to be constructively critical about our team. I don't think, as a City fan, you can be mad for the position that we're in right now. If you look at us in 2009, we had just been taken over by Mansoor. Arguably, we had we had been, I think, between 1999 and 2009, we'd been relegated twice and had an 18th place position, oh, which is a relegation. I'm retarded. Um, and if you look at 2009 to 2019, we have five Premier League titles. Five. Twelve, fourteen. No, it's four. Sorry, four. And a bunch of league cups, bunch of FA cups. We completed the. Domestic treble for the first time. Uh, no men's team has done that uh, in Premier League history. Actually, I think it was e- English Football League history. Um, and, um, you know, like, we've done so much in the last 10 years. And that's why you can't get mad at where City is right now. Every single team goes through a bad phase. Every single one. Granted, we've had a lot of bad phases before, but that was before money. That was before, um, you know, that, that that was before any of 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 our riches or or all this kind of stuff. So I think that instead of being angry, yes, we can be mad at this result, but we need to be very grateful of the position we've got into. As as my, we we could have never been taken over, and we would have been half day down the fucking league. Do you want that instead of of losing five games in the league? Okay, yes, we have a lot of good players. We've got unfortunate with injuries, and our investment hasn't been good enough. I I think that I think that all the Man City fans out there who are crying for Guardiola out and all this kind of bullshit can fuck off. Honestly, I don't think that they're true fans. Um, I think that they just expect success because we have money. 
and that's called glory hunting. Um, and, uh, you know, p people might call me a glory hunter because I only started supporting Man City in 2014, but I was nine. I only started supporting Man City because I bought a city scarf in London, um, and I thought the badge looked cool, and I didn't have a team to support it, and all my friends were, so, were you know, football fans and whatever. Um, and I wanted to belong in there, and I hadn't heard of the team before, so I was like, yeah, fuck it, why not? Um, and now it's becoming to this thing that I, I really care about and, and want to make sure that, that, that our club does well. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, our, our defense is a massive problem. I don't know why we didn't invest. Uh, we need a left back and a center back badly. Laporte isn't back until February, which is, I guess, good because he'll be back for the games against Real Madrid where those games are so critical. We have to win that tie. Right now, it really doesn't look like we're going to be winning that tie. Um, but anyway, sorry, I have to take a bit of water. I hope you understand. Uh, throw is hurting a bit. But anyway, let's get into yesterday's result. A couple of things I want to make uh, clear. Ederson, what the fuck are you doing? Mendy is shit. Adama Traore is insane. And Sterling is a beast. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go through the first point. I'll go through the Ederson red card. Um, so for anybody who didn't see the game, uh, there was a, sp a period of possession for Wolves after a collision between Mendy and I think it was uh, Landry and Donker. Um, and Wolves were having a spell of possession and I think it was, it was one of their uh, Portuguese midfielders, either Neves or Moutinho who does a very nice over-the-top through ball between our two def uh, between our two center backs, threw it to Jota, straight thrown goal. No chance of any one of our defenders catching him. And Ederson runs full speed straight at him, outside of the box, stonewall red, can't argue against it. He does make contact. He doesn't get the ball. Excuse me. Um, stonewall red, okay? I have nothing to argue against that. I think that's a stone wall red. Um, and from there, it it was always going to be hard for us. But uh, I'll I'll go to the penalty because I know that there's a lot of uh, controversy about that. Um, so you know, I, I guess after the red, we were we were really trying. We were very nervous. I could tell we were very nervous. Um, and uh, it was one of our first attacks of the whole game. Um, and. Uh, and uh, the ball gets played out wide to Riyad Mahrez. Takes on one defender nicely. Now, he's in a one-on-one -on -one sideways situation with uh, De Donker, if you can imagine that. Uh, Mahrez is kind of on the left, uh, just inside of the penalty area. And then De Donker is on the right-hand side. And De Donker comes in, gives him a little shove, and then steps on his, um, uh, his uh, uh, the table of his foot. Um, and... Um, I think it was a penalty. Um, it's it's a fifty fifty penalty though, but I think it I think it was a penalty. Uh, personally, I, I I get if people disagree, but I think it was a penalty. Um, Sterling misses bad pen in my opinion. Gets retaken because one of the Wolves players was in the box. Fair enough. Then it gets missed again. Sterling goes into the exact same place again. I, he shouldn't be on pens. I mean, we had to. For anybody who didn't notice, we needed a goalkeeper on the pitch. We subbed that Aguero in the thirteenth minute, um, so that Bravo could come on the field. Um, I, I didn't think Bravo played bad, by the way. Um, and so he misses, but then the rebound goes in. We're one nil up, and we have a lead to defend, and that's what we did for the first half. There wasn't really anything else special. We were just defending, literally, a, a massive Wolves pressure. We managed to get the one nil lead into halftime. I'm feeling all right. I'm like, okay, maybe we can actually hold on to this lead. Um, and then we're defending again for the start of the half. And then we get one quick break. Brilliant through ball by De Bruyne. And Sterling's throwing goal and he neatly chips it over Roy Patricio. Um, and it's 2-0. And we have a man down and we've been pressured the whole game. I'm like, what the fuck? Are we about to steal this game? Um, no. No chance. Um... I think it was only five minutes later, uh, and Adama Traore, nine, brilliant strike, just outside the box, off the post and in, it's 2-1, and Wolves have momentum now. 
Uh, and I personally thought that our defense in this game actually didn't play that bad. Um, I thought that Altamendi and Fernandinho were making good tackles. I thought Rodri was good in the midfield. I think that some of the subs from Pep were kind of sus. I would have taken... Um, I would have maybe taken Mares off the field. Br brung in Bravo. No, but then you have only two midfielders. That's a bit of an L. Uh, I would have maybe even... No, but three backs too risky. Anyway, I don't know how I would have played it. Um, but I don't know if I, taking off Aguero was the best play. Um, anyway, we take off Aguero, so our attacking threat is a little bit gone. You know, we still have Mars, still have De Bruyne, still have Sterling, still have all these players. And that's how we basically got the pen, but, um, I don't think De Bruyne should have been subbed off. I think, uh, Bernardo Silva should have been subbed off. I think De Bruyne was playing well. I don't think Bernardo Silva was, he was doing all right. But I think that, I don't think De Bruyne should have been subbed off. I think it should have been Bernardo Silva. And Gundogan should have come on. Um, and then I can't remember. I don't think we made our last sub, which is kind of ridiculous. No, we... Mm, yeah, I know we did. Uh, we made Eric Garcia at halftime for Mares. Which, again, he wanted to defend the lead and it didn't work. That, 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 that's the thing I think that Guardiola yesterday got wrong. He wanted to defend the league, uh, le league lead, which is normal, but he didn't do it properly. You know, we, we don't have the defenders to do that. Um, and then, uh, 81st minute, we're still holding on to this game somehow. It's the 81st minute. I thought that we've played all right in defense up to this point. They've got a couple of promising free kicks. Um, and, um, and, uh, yeah, so the ball gets played in, I think, by Jean Moutinho Cross. Uh, it gets headed out to the side of the box by Walker. It's the ball's picked up by Mendy, and he has about, I would say maybe, I'm going to say in meters, I can't say yards, I don't know any yards, has about, I would say maybe five to, four to five meters of space between him and Adama Traore here, and Adama Traore is just kind of lounging around here, and Mendy has the ball here, he, he could very easily just kick it out, he could just kick it up the field, and... We could, because that's basically what we were doing for 30 minutes. We were booting the ball out, letting them go on attack, clearing it, letting them go on attack, because that's basically what you have to do when you have a red. Um, and instead of Mendy clearing the ball, he ho he tries to outstrength, even though it's gone off Walker, which doesn't make any sense. I would understand if he tried to shield the ball for a goal kick if it if it went off a Wolves player. Um, but. Still, it, it didn't go off a Wolves player. He has so much time to clear the damn ball. And um, and then Adama Traore comes in with his pace and strength. He completely outstrengths Mendy um, and just bullies him off the ball, wins the ball, puts an accurate low cross in for Raul Jimenez. It's 2-2. And I'm like, fuck me, man. This fucking Mendy is so shit. Um, and he had played well in the games before. I don't know what... I don't know what happened. Should have just cleared the damn ball. Um, but anyway, I was pissed after that two-two goal, and I think a couple of minutes later, I was like, "This game isn't ending two-two." And I knew it. And um, Doherty, Doherty, however you want to say it, good link-up play with Raúl Jiménez. I don't know what the fuck our defense is doing. We're sliding in for two challenges. Why? We hadn't slid in for any challenges before, and we'd won the ball every damn time. Why are we sliding in now? It doesn't make any sense to me. Why lose your head in the 89th minute? Hold on for the fucking point, get into second, and take new momentum into the game against Sheffield. If, if, if we would have drawn yesterday, I wouldn't be making this video. But now I am, because I'm a little bit pissed. Um, but anyway, yeah, just, just, just crazy. Um... I don't know why we're sliding. A good finish by Doherty. 3-2. We lose the game in the last minute. And yeah, that's about it. That's, you know, it's happened. We drew 2-2 against Newcastle in the 88th. Um, you know, I don't know, man. Our defense is our problem this season. Nobody is catching Liverpool, and somebody needs to stop them going invincible. Um, as for, I mean... It, if you guys want me to make uh, videos on other opinions, I'd be really glad to. Uh, this is something I, I would want to do in the future if I would be able to talk about football and 
uh, maybe get into a podcast or you know some 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 sort of analytics table even I think that would be amazing but um yeah if if you guys want that was all for this video by the way I just wanted to cover the Wolves game um and um talk a little bit about our defense talk a little bit about how I feel about the club um in a constructive criticism way because I think that's what you need you don't need hate you don't need more hate in this world there's so much hate out there. I just want to constructively criticize my team that I love and have so much passion for and want to do well. Um, and this is how I honestly feel. Um, and if you guys, as I said, if you guys want me to make other opinion videos, I'd be you know, glad to, glad to make any. Um, but yeah, um, th that's, that's kind of all for this video. Um, fair play to Wolves for winning us, for winning us, beating us yesterday. Um, they played well. I think that they deserved the win. Uh, I won't even lie. Uh, Liverpool, fair play. They're just unstoppable. And, um, yeah, that's um, that, That's how I feel right now. Um, hopefully we can get a win against Sheffield. Uh, I don't want to be back making another video. I probably won't make another video. Um, even if we lose to Sheffield, but it's at home. Hopefully we can win. Um, but yeah, hey, uh, th thanks guys for uh, for listening to this. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy. I hope it wasn't too boring. And I hope I got at least some points that you guys can get behind across. Um, but um, yeah, that's, uh, that's basically going to be all for this video. Um, and um, yeah, that's how I feel about my club right now. And uh, yeah, we better sign some fucking center backs in January that I can see, by the way, I'm going to... Man City game in, in January. The one against Crystal Palace at home. So if uh, any one of you are there, then come and see me. I'll be in, uh, I think it was in stand 131 on the Colin Bell stand. So um, yeah, if you guys want to come and meet me there, then uh, try and find me. But anyway, um, yeah. So I hope you guys did enjoy. And um, that's going to be all for me for this video. And uh, hopefully you guys have a better day than I will. Hopefully your team wins. Unless you're Man United. Then you can fuck off. Um, but, um, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, I appreciate the support that's been in the last couple of videos. Got a decent amount of views. Um, and, yeah. Peace.